now waiting for his punishment. Jesse Gandara Jr. found guilty in court today. Jesus Jesse Gandara Jr. convicted on a felony bribery charge. He faces two to 20 years in prison for trying to bribe the owners of the Licon Dairy in San Elizario when Socorro wanted to annex San Eli back in 2013. ABC 7's Darren Hunt is covering the trial for us. He broke word of the verdict for us just over an hour ago, and developing now the punishment phase begins. Darren. Rick and Estella, it took the jury of nine women and three men less than 90 minutes to render the guilty verdict. The 34-year-old Gondara, who was reading his Bible during closing arguments, simply bowed his head when the verdict was read. Gondara will spend the night in jail after El Paso County, or El Paso, uh, in El Paso County Jail, rather, after Judge Gonzalo Garcia ordered him detained until tomorrow morning's sentencing phase. Now, it was a very eventful second and final day of this trial. The state rested this morning after calling only three witnesses, all members of the Lacone family, and the defense rested after calling just one witness. The entire case appeared to hinge on a one and a half hour secret recording by Jean Lacone of the conversation Gondara had with the Lacones while while giving them a tour of Socorro back in January of 2013. Gondara offers the Lacones $40,000 in advertising and $40,000 for promotional events at the dairy if the Lacone family would support Socorro's controversial annexation of part of Santa Eli. At one point, it appeared Gondara was going to testify today, but after being sworn in, Gondara opted not to at the last minute. After the guilty verdict, we spoke with Socorro Councilman at Large, Rene Rodriguez. This is uh, two years in the making. Uh, corruption should stop in the city of Socorro. Uh, our constituents should be glad. Um, we can uh, finally move a page in uh, the history um, of corruption. And uh, I'm glad and hopefully that we can move on and uh, continue the hard work that we've been doing in the past two years. Rodriguez went on to say he hopes this is the end of Gondara politics in Socorro and he hopes for a long sentence. He said and the Lacones rather did not speak on camera afterward. However, they indicated they were happy about the guilty verdict and hoping for a quote just sentence tomorrow. Now the sentencing phase begins at 930 tomorrow morning and you can count on ABC 7 to bring it to you as soon as it's handed down. Rick and Estelle. Okay. Darren live downtown will keep us updated on the sentence. Face. Thank you very much. And Jesse Gandara Jr., convicted of trying to buy political power, part of the trial centered around a tour of Socorro he was known to give. ABC 7 with new perspective tonight from a man who took that tour. Political blogger Jaime Abate described a long and winding drive through Socorro with Jesse Gandara Jr. as the narrator. Abate says he was covering a story about allegations from the public that money meant for sidewalks was being misused. He says there was always a catch. And he wanted to educate me on what was going on in the community, but really at the end of the day what he wanted was favorable coverage of what was, what was going on in Socorro. The Gandas have long been prominent in local politics. They have also had their fair share of legal problems. Go to KVIA.com right now for a look at the Gandada family history. A link is on the homepage headline. Over at the federal courthouse,